You drop a rock from the observation deck of the CN Tower. Neglect error resistance. Which one of the following four statements is most correct? A. The kinetic energy of the rock increases by equal amounts in equal time intervals as it falls. B. The kinetic energy of the rock increases by equal amounts in equal distances as it falls. C is that both A and B are true, and D is neither A nor B is true. Okay, well, I'll just walk you through my sol solution for this. There's a lot of ways of thinking about it. But if you think about time intervals, delta T, uh, that comes into acceleration. We know the change in, s in velocity uh, divided by the change in time is our definition of acceleration. And for uh, free fall, this rock with no air resistance, that's going to be G. So if we solve for its final uh, speed, I guess, it's going to be its initial uh, speed, which was zero, actually, times G, or plus G times delta T. So as delta T increases, the V will uh, increase sort of linearly with delta T. But the kinetic energy is one half mv squared, so it'll be not linear uh, with v, with v, so not linear with with t. So I don't expect that uh, the kinetic energy will increase with equal uh, by equal amounts in equal time intervals. It'll go up and up in a parabolic fashion. So I don't think it's uh, a. As for b. Uh, the distances that it falls is delta y, and this is really a conservation of energy idea, is that the final uh, potential plus kinetic is equal to the initial uh, potential plus kinetic. So the final kinetic energy turns out to be the initial kinetic energy minus the change in uh, gravitational potential energy. So that looks like minus mg times delta y, where delta y is the distance fallen. So the kinetic energy is linearly related to delta y. So that's exactly what's being said here with the uh, kinetic energy of the rock. It increases by equal amounts in equal distances. So as uh, uh, delta, delta y will be related linearly uh, with kinetic energy. So the answer is B.